It's okay, baby. Okay, so I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru and I just got some uh, decaf iced coffee and I'm on my way to a baby wearing group. Um, <laughs> we're running a little bit late because she woke up, um, she took a really long nap this morning, almost two hours, so um, I'm glad we're still able to go. She's at the age now where she can um, also be carried on my back and I've tried a couple back carries on my own and she's very squirmy, very wriggly and she likes to pull my hair a lot <laughs> because I have longer hair and um, I just would like some help with that. Um, I can't really see very well what I'm doing because she's on my back instead of um, being worn um, on the front. So yeah, this will just be a good... Um, uh, refresher course. I'm meeting a friend there and so I'm looking forward to having um, some coffee and ketchup time. Also a wrap there that I saw um, posted online that um, they're going to be having in there called Lending Library. It's where you can pay like five dollars or ten dollars to rent um, some wraps, some of them even high-end wraps for like a week or two and I'm kind of tempted to. Um, it's this really pretty pale pink. I don't know. Baby. Is that steak so good? Is that steak so good? <laughs> see she's not napping decided she didn't want to nap this morning and she wants those boxes <laughs> I am trying to finally get her clothes put away hi baby good morning <laughs> um, and just try and keep her busy at the same time because somebody likes to get into everything don't you so yeah, she's really starting to get this, getting this crawling thing down. She's trying to move forward, um, and let's see if she'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it's been a very frustrating morning, honestly. Um, I was up till 2 a.m. Um, somebody decided to have a little party <coughs> in her crib at 1. <coughs> She was eating nonstop from like 12 to 1.30. Um, anytime I'd put her down, she would be asleep. But then um, she'd wake up five minutes later just screaming. And, you know, um, I thought, oh, she just needs to settle herself to sleep. And I'd wait a minute. And then I recognized it was her hungry cry. And I'd go in and she'd act like she hasn't eaten in hours. And so, yeah, cluster feeding for a long time last night. And it was just a rough rough night. I was awake till two and um, yeah, I think I got about five hours of sleep maybe total, like broken up. But anyway, I've got to go stop her from eating boxes.
Are you finally happily occupied? Yeah. Yeah. It is getting harder and harder to keep her occupied with anything. My goodness, she is just all over the place. I'm still trying to get these clothes in order. I'm just trying to pack them up by size, basically. Yes? Hi. Did you have something to say? Kaylee. Hi. But yeah, she is a little squirmy monkey this morning, just all over the place. Oh my goodness. And no nap still, so it's going to be one of those days. Okay, time to have some lunch. She is still napping, so it's been almost an hour. Um, I'm going to have some lunch really quickly while she's sleeping, and I've got some phone calls to make and um, just things to do, um, uh, reschedule appointments and all that. And then fold some laundry because the laundry never ends and entertain the cat so he doesn't wake up Kaylee. So Colby should be home anytime for lunch, and um, I'm hoping she'll sleep at least another hour. Okay, I still look a hot mess. I'm just not into doing my makeup today or my hair, so it's in a ponytail. And I think someone's awake. <laughs> she slept for two hours. It's 1.30, so she did really well. I was able to do some laundry and uh, make some phone calls. and I just feel so much better when I can just get just a little bit done. I'm really trying to focus on not having, you know, a super clean house or a super organized house. That's I just can't do that all by myself. But if I can just get a little bit done, like um, just, you know, get a couple loads of laundry going or, you know, pick up our bedroom or pick up downstairs or something, I feel so much better. So um, I was able to make a lot of phone calls and send some emails out that I needed to. And now she's awake and happy. Let's go get her. Hello. Hello, beautiful girl. Did you take a good nap? Yeah. See, of course I did, Mama. Of course I did, Mama. Because I'm a good girl. You ready to get up? Would you like to get up? Yes. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. You feeling those teeth? Oh, bonk. Did you bonk your head? Yeah. You ready to get up? Up, up, up. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay, she is down for her second nap. Um, just about 15 minutes ago. It's 4 o'clock, so that's right on time. Um, and I'm still trying to fold some laundry. <laughs> um, time to fold more diapers. And um, she's been pretty good today. A little fussy, and I don't think it's my eyes playing tricks on me, but I'm pretty sure I see two bottom teeth. I can't believe it. It's these two on the other side of the two bottom ones in the middle. I could have sworn I saw white lines on her gum. I thought, oh my gosh, no wonder you're being so fussy. So that would definitely explain it. She's been very clingy and needy today, but um, I can tell she's trying to feel better and trying to play. And um, I'm not finished with her room yet. It looks like a tornado hit it. I'm not quite done packing up all of her old clothes yet. But um, my hair is a mess. But um, yeah, I was able to get some stuff done today. And I'm trying to get uh, meal planning done for the week. I am just not feeling it. I don't know what to cook. Uh, I need to go grocery shopping and I can't do that right now with a sleeping baby. So hopefully tomorrow. And um, the weather has been really weird today. It's overcast. It's 75. It's gorgeous outside. Nice breeze and a few, like about, oh, about a half hour ago it started sprinkling. And we're in a horrible drought right now, and I just, I was so excited. I thought, come on, rain, you can do it. Let's go. And it stopped. <laughs> so we got about half an hour of sprinkles. So anyway, I'm going to finish folding some laundry. Colby will be home in about an hour, hour and a half, and um, we'll figure out dinner. Um, she'll probably have some leftover steak, which she loved last night. She had steak for the first time. We, um, Colby grilled it really simply, just salt and pepper, a little bit of salt and pepper, 
and um, she was just loving it. She had a, um, she's not obviously eating, you know, bites, but um, mostly, you know, sucking on pieces of steak and just, she loved it. She thought it was so good. Um, cauliflower, she wasn't too sure about. I think it might have been a little tough for her. I didn't think about that. Um, broccoli has, you know, the little florets that they can kind of, you know, gnaw on. And cauliflower is a little bit, the texture is a little bit more uh, firm. So um, either I need to soften it more or I'm not sure how I'm going to cook it tonight for her. But um, And then we have some banana that she can have too. So it's been so much fun trying new foods with her. It's still, you know, baby led weaning, um, it still makes me a little bit nervous, but she's really good at, you know, chewing food and, um, not choking basically. Um, Colby's a lot more calm than I am, obviously. And, um, he's just really good at sitting with her when I start to get a little nervous. Like if she starts to bite off a little piece by herself, cause she does have teeth. She has four teeth. And I thought, oh gosh, you know, what if she starts choking? But, um, on the other hand, she is, you know, loving food and textures and she plays with food and likes to make a, likes to, you know, make a mess on her tray. And, you know, I love that. That's what the, um, one of the favorite aspects of baby led weaning that I like. I should call it baby led feeding or something because baby led weaning is kind of misleading. People think you're weaning your kid off of, you know, breast milk and you're not, or at least I'm not anytime soon. Um, anyway. Um, for now, we'll just call it dinner <laughs> when she has dinner. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm starting to ramble, which means I need chocolate or coffee and I don't have coffee, so I should probably have some chocolate and finish folding diapers. So I actually have something to put her in when she wakes up. Yeah, that's your <laughs> What's with that face? Uh-oh, looking down. We lost her. You're sleepy. You just, you just woke, woke up. up. <laughs> like, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> Are you like tasting the breeze or something? <laughs> I'm part snake. <laughs> Taste the wind. <laughs> you silly girl. So, what are you excited about, honey? Mm, I'm excited You're so about excited. Taking King, the downloadable content for Destiny. Right. And why were you excited? Because I get a cool emblem. And what does it mean? Nothing at all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is Daddy a nerd? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that? It's okay. I still love you, even though you're a nerd, and I don't understand the destiny obsession yeah. interest. S <laughs> stuff I don't understand about you. And that's okay. Oh, I know. There's lots of stuff I don't understand about you, <laughs> little girl. No, it's okay. <laughs> what is that face? You what is that face? Up? What are you doing? Look at those chompers. <laughs> what are you doing? Girl. Yeah. What is daddy doing? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> are you just feeling your teeth? I think that's what she's doing. Yeah. Hi, baby. What's those pokey things in my mouth? <laughs> oh, have you had enough? Okay. Let's check out our garden and see if our cucumber's ready. Let's see if our cucumber's ready. Oh, it's getting there. Some string beans, and oh, we have a couple more cherry tomatoes. I think we have another tomato hiding. See, there it is. We have a couple more chairs over here. Hopefully, there's not a big spider. 
So there's one. I think our tomato plant is mostly done. What do you think? Is it mostly done? We got a ton of cherry tomatoes from this guy. I think it's all done. All done. The cucumber, I wonder if I should just pick it. I don't know. No, it's supposed to get a lot bigger than that. Oh, we've got a lemon cucumber in there. Yummy. Yummy. Is there something funny? It's so funny. Oh my gosh, it's 11 o'clock and we're finally getting out of the house, huh? It's been crazy the past couple days. I'm up late with her. I'm late uploading, you know, vlogs and oh my gosh, she's been having parties in her crib at like two in the morning. It's just, it is so crazy. Um, I'm, we're just not sleeping as much as I'd like to, huh? No. Um, and it's just really rough getting up multiple times a night. So I'm on my way to Trader Joe's and I might vlog a little bit there, we'll see. Hello again. Yes, I have a mess to clean up. <laughs> um, I just finished lunch. We're home from um, grocery shopping and um, we did really well. She was really comfy and um, um, I wore her of course and I was able to get exactly what we needed and I'm gonna make some um, more chili. I'm going to make some roasted chicken, and um, anyway, it was so funny, this lady in the parking lot, um, an elderly lady, was um, getting into her car, and um, I was wearing Kaylee, and I had the diaper bag backpack on my back, and I was pushing my shopping cart with my three bags of groceries to my car, and I pass her car, and she looks at me, and she says, man, that just looks like so much work, and I couldn't really... I couldn't tell if I heard her right or not. I said, I'm sorry, excuse me? And she says, that just looks like so much work. You've got a baby on your on you and you're wearing a backpack and um, you've got your groceries and how are you going to get your groceries in the car and how are you going to get them into your house? And I said, well, I, you know, I just keep her on me and I load them in the car and then I put her in her car seat and when we get home, I put her in the house and, you know, a jumper or something and um, I go back out and I get the groceries and it was just kind of funny like I'm explaining my little routine <laughs> to her and she's like that just looks like so much work and she just kept saying it and I said oh I'm good I'm actually really comfortable I'm okay it just it just was kind of a silly moment like I felt like I had to defend myself but I don't know like baby wearing and everything I love it I really do um, she loves it she's super comfortable and um, I get a lot of 
comments when we're out, mostly positive. Um, you know, oh, she looks so comfortable. Oh, that's really cool. How did you do that? What kind of wrap is it? Um, and I was wearing my new wrap um, that my friend bought me for Christmas, very early Christmas present, which was so sweet. So Anne, if you're watching, I love it. Thank you. Um, and I'm still breaking it in. It's really, really soft and cushy right now, but I'm still breaking it in a little bit. And so I wore it today grocery shopping. And I noticed people were just kind of looking and she's not in any, you know, weird position. She's facing me. Um, and the wrap is a really pretty um, neutral gray and like a cream, um, kind of a basket weave pattern almost, blocky geometric pattern. It was just funny though. I'm like, I guess I'm so used to it now. Kaylee's seven months old. I've been wearing her since she was about two months. Um, I wish I'd known about it beforehand though. I had no idea that I would get so attached to it and that she would love it so much. I really wish that I'd been able to um, wear her as a newborn and have, you know, her little newborn self all snuggled and squishy next to me and everything. But anyway, I'm rambling. But my whole point was it was just kind of funny. Like people just don't have filters. <laughs> and I've noticed that when I wear her, um, the filters really come off. It's just kind of funny. But I mean, I'm always positive about it and I mostly get positive comments. So that's nice. It was just kind of a funny moment. <laughs> She is still sleeping. This is going on a little over an hour nap, so that's nice. Um, so Colby sounds like he's had a really rough day. Um, I'm gonna start getting together some breakfast for dinner. Um, eggs and bacon and, um, I'm not sure what else I'll find in the fridge. And, um, I thought I'd probably make him some hot cocoa too. Um, I hardly ever make it at home. And he's the type where he never really buys himself anything. Um, he does like hot chocolate, but he's really frugal. Um, we both kind of are, and so I thought I'd um, try and make him some hot chocolate. I think I have the ingredients to make him some. So, um, yeah, he should be home um, any minute. And I've just got to get dinner started. Mm -hmm.